Hey YouTube, hope all of you are doing well. LED grow lights have come quite far within the past year. Now you can get more light out of a grow light using fewer watts, a more refined spectrum, and higher quality components, all at a lower average cost. LED grow lights have certainly met and surpassed HPS lights in terms of light output and potential for yield. They're becoming the standard in home and commercial grows. So hit the like button and subscribe, and let's get into the best LED grow lights of 2020. I'm going to set the stage here before I elaborate on the list. So if you don't want to listen to this, click the time signature in the description link to get right into the list. However, I suggest listening to this because I'll go over some important things and explain our reasoning. All right. So in 2020, it seems that LED grow lights are becoming more and more similar. Almost every well-known company has a bar style fixture and they're using Samsung whites and Osram red diodes. In addition, some overseas companies are copying the designs and appearance of US made lights. Everything out there is starting to look very similar as companies compete for your dollar. So how do you know what is what? Well, I recommend comparing these specifications between lights to differentiate between the good, the bad, and the mediocre. True wattage draw, total light output in micromoles per second, also known as PPF, par efficacy in micromoles per joule, this is how efficient the light is. Coverage area and uniformity. This can be summed up by referencing a PAR chart. Spectrum. And lastly, quality of components, warranty, and customer service. Of course, the accuracy of this data relies on the manufacturer to provide accurate data in the first place. Water's draw is easy to measure, but light output and PAR efficacy should be measured in an integrating sphere. Calculating total light output or PAR efficacy outside of an integrating sphere is inaccurate and non-standardized. Now switching gears, how is this list of the top seven lights put together? Well, all the lights in this list, one, cover at least a four x four to five x five area for flowering, since these are common footprints for flowering and will replace a 1000 watt HPS or more. Two, they're high light output and high PAR efficacy. High light output is needed to cover at least a 4x4 area. High PAR efficacy means that the fixture is drawing the lowest number of watts to put out the highest amount of light possible. High PAR efficacy can also be obtained by underdriving the diodes so more diodes will be used overall to obtain a high light output. And three, use high quality components and an effective design. In order to obtain high PAR efficacy, the diodes are very likely going to be top bin and the drivers will be very efficient. However, this is not enough. Also, the design of the fixture needs to allow effective heat dissipation to extend diode and driver lifetime. After I cover the top seven lights, I'll go over some lights or brands that didn't make the list, but are still worth mentioning. I'll also give you a recommendation for the best DIY LED grow light for a 4x4 area. Disclaimer, note that this video was released in July 2020. So it's only covering the best LED grow lights up to this point in time. Also, we don't include every single LED grow light on the market as there are so many. The lights on this list are the ones that LED Grow Lights Depot offers. There are other good lights on the market not mentioned here, such as the $1500 Fluent Spider 2i and Lumitech Zeus 600 Pro. I don't not want to mention those, but we do not sell Fluents as they prefer to sell directly to the customer. Lumitech recently rebranded for US distribution and their lights are available in the USA as Photon Tech, link below. These appear to be great lights but are very new so we have not included them in the 2020 list. Lastly, this list is in no particular order. Let's finally get into the top 7 best LED grow lights of 2020. Cressor Lighting Panther X2 The Cressor Lighting Panther X2 released late April 2020 is an update to the Panther X. The Panther X2 draws 640 watts and puts out more light than the Panther X. Cressor is using Samsung LM561H, 3000K, and 4000K white light diodes and custom 660 nanometer deep red diodes to create a rounded full spectrum with a nice bump in red. The diodes are passively cooled. The Panther X2 emits 1600 micromoles per second of light at a PAR efficacy of 2.51. While not providing the most even canopy in a 4x4 to 5x5 area, the concentrated light source will give you excellent penetration when used in the recommended coverage area. 
The fixture doesn't use any secondary lenses to direct the light. Instead, the reflectors beam the light down at a 90 degree angle. There are two drivers on the Panther X2, which both contain zero to 10 volt dimming leads that allow you to install an optional dimmer, potentiometer, or controller for full dimming capabilities. The Panther X2 measures 30.5 inches by 20.3 inches and weighs 26.5 pounds. The light is ETL and CE certified for commercial grow applications. If this light is too large for your space, check out the Panther X2 Mini, which is half of the Panther X2. Also available is Cresser's Top Lighting Metric Series. At only $749.99, the Panther X2 puts out a lot of light for your money at 2.13 micromoles per second of light per dollar or 46 cents per micromole per second of light. That is why we're labeling the Cresser Panther X2 best bang for your buck in 2020. Enlight Series 780 Watt. The Enlight Series 780 Watt was released March 2020. The bar style fixture draws around 780 watts while emitting an outstanding 1,911 micromoles per second of light, which is enough light to replace a double ended HID fixture. The par efficacy of this fixture is 2.45 micromoles per second. The fixture now uses Samsung LM301B 3500K diodes with 660 nanometer deep red. The spectrum is well balanced and will take plants from seed to harvest. In a 4x4 area, you can expect an average PPFD of 1,180 micromoles per meter squared per second, or an average PPFD of 895 micromoles per meter squared per second in a 5x5 area. The light is 35.5 pounds and is foldable for easy transportation and setup. It's 44 by 44 inches when folded out to its final form. The Series 780 watt is ETL and CE certified for commercial grows. A dimming controller is available as a separate purchase and allows you to hook up up to 100 lights via two separate channels. Also available is a less powerful version of this fixture, the Series 520 watt. The Series 780 watt retails at $950. At 1,911 micromoles per second of light output, this grow light will give you 2.01 micromoles per second of light per dollar or 49 cents per micromole per second of light. At under $1,000, we are awarding this light the label of most light for under $1,000 in 2020. Science LED Raging Kush. The most recent version of the Science LED Raging Kush was released March 2019. The fixture draws up to 690 watts and is fully dimmable, has three different spectrum channels, cool white, warm white, and deep red and far red, and allows scheduling, all through Science's state-of-the-art Thea wireless control app. Expect up to 1,677 micromoles per second of light output at a par efficacy of 2.43 micromoles per joule. The patented 120 degree lenses on the Raging Kush remove the hot spot in the center of the footprint and distribute the light evenly over the entire grow area. The Raging Kush spectrum leans heavy in red, allowing you to pull some pretty large yields with this fixture. The Raging Kush measures 44 inches by 40.5 inches and it weighs 42 pounds. Science LED's lights are very well constructed and IP66 waterproof. This unit is UL and CSA listed for commercial grows. Like all other bar lights, this fixture is designed for multi-level applications. It can also be used outside of commercial grows, in grow rooms, and tents. If you're not growing in a 4x4 to 5x5 area or want more of a top light solution, we recommend checking out Science's Dragon SL or Dragon Alpha. They feature the same technology, just packaged in a different shape. The Raging Kush retails at $1,295. Expect 1 1.29 micromoles per second of light per dollar or 77 cents per micromole of light. Though this light is more expensive per micromole per second of light than the aforementioned fixtures, you have more control over this grow light along with excellent support from Science LED if needed. That is why we're awarding the Raging Kush and Science LED best controllability and customer support for 2020. Gavita Pro 1700E Gen 2. The Gavita Pro 1700E Gen 2 was released August 2019. The fixture emits 1,700 micromoles per second of light with a par efficacy of 2.6 micromoles per joule. The 8 bar fixture contains a full spectrum consisting of 4000K white light diodes and Osram 660 nanometer deep red diodes. 
There's a combined total of 3,336 diodes, so with a total power draw of around 645 watts, the diodes are extremely underdriven, extending their lifetime significantly. The 1700E measures about 44 inches by 44 inches, and it weighs 28.4 pounds. You can expect an even light footprint throughout a 4x4 area or larger, in grow tents, grow rooms, or multi-level grows. The Gavita LED can integrate with the Gavita EL1 or EL2 controller, which allows scheduling, dimmability, and a sunrise-sunset effect. The fixture is UL listed for commercial applications. This light retails at $1,379. At 1700 micromoles per second of light output, this grow light will give you 1.23 micromoles per second of light per dollar or 81 cents per micromole per second of light. Even with a higher price tag, the name Gavita easily sells this fixture. It's always in high demand. Therefore, we're naming this light most sought after light in 2020. Chilled Tech Growcraft X6 1000 Watt. The Growcraft X6 1000 Watt LED grow light hit the market in early March 2020. Expect a maximum wattage draw of 1,000 watts from the wall, a light output of 2,450 micromoles per second, and a claimed efficacy of 2.58 micromoles per joule. While Chilled will not directly name the brand of diodes that they use to avoid getting ripped off, the spectrum that the diodes make up have a good bump in deep red, ideal for pulling big yields, but still a good amount of blue for compact growth and high quality. This light is best used in a 5x5 space for high light intensity applications, as can be seen by the elevated PPFD readings. The extremely low profile fixture measures 42.5 by 42.5 inches, and it weighs 33.8 pounds without the drivers. The two drivers are external to the fixture and can be mounted outside the grow area to help reduce the total heat load. The drivers also allow dimming down to 50 watts or 5% of the original intensity. The Growcraft series are not ETL or UL listed at this time, but Chilled is working on that listing. If you love everything about this fixture but find that it's too powerful for your application, consider the other Growcraft fixtures which range through 330 watts, 500 watts, 600 watts, and five different styles. Each fixture has its own DIY version too, but these don't come with a warranty. The price of the Growcraft X6 1000 watt is $1,599, so expect 1.53 micromoles per second of light per dollar, or 65 cents per micromole per second of light, with a very high light output of 2,450 micromoles per second, we are labeling this light most powerful fixture from a top brand in 2020. Grower's Choice ROI E720 The ROI E720 was released mid-July 2020. At a wattage draw of 740 watts and a boost mode of up to 800 watts, this fixture puts out an incredible 1,870 to 2,080 micromoles per second of light at an efficacy of 2.6 micromoles per joule. Grower's Choice uses Osram diodes to achieve their Grower's Choice 3K full spectrum with added 660 nanometer deep red. The fixture is dimmable via a dimming knob on the fixture or via the Grower's Choice controller. Due to its high light output, this light is designed to be used in 4 foot wide vertical racking for commercial applications, but it can also be used in horizontal grows demanding high light intensity and uniformity. Home growers will also find this light attractive, though it's kind of a tight fit in a 4x4 tent. The ROI E720 is 46.9 by 46.8 inches, and it weighs 44 pounds. It's UL certified and DLC listed. This light is the big brother of the ROI E420, which is 300 fewer watts than the ROI E720, and it'll cover a 3.5 by 3.5 area for flower. The best-selling grower's choice ROI E680 is another popular option for a 4x4 to 5x5 area. The E720 cost $1,049. At full power, expect 1.98 micromoles per second of light per dollar, or 50 cents per micromole per second of light. Given the quality diodes, uniform coverage, controllability, and very high light output, we are naming this fixture Best Bar Light of 2020. Horticulture Lighting Group HLG 650R The HLG 650R was released early April 2020. You can expect a light output of 1,770 micromoles per second at an efficacy of 2.81 micromoles per joule and a wattage draw of 630 watts, dimmable to 60 watts, making the HLG 650R one of the most efficient grow lights on the market. 
The fixture utilizes 2,592 Samsung 4000K LM301B diodes and 72 LM351H V2 660 nanometer deep red diodes across four custom designed Diablo quantum boards. The Spectrum has a good bump in 450 nanometer blue and 660 nanometer red that will give you compact growth, high yields, and a great quality product. The light can be used in up to a 5x5 area for flower. The HLG 650R is 26 inches by 21.25 inches and it weighs 27 pounds. The fixture is perfect for home growers requiring high light intensity or commercial growers and can be hooked up to a controller such as the Trollmaster for central dimming control. The HLG 650R is ETL certified. This is Horticulture Lighting Group's most powerful fixture at the time of this review. If you need a less powerful fixture, check out their entire lineup of assembled or DIY fixtures meant for pretty much any growth space you can imagine. The HLG 650R retails at $1,099 and will give you 1.61 micromoles per second of light per dollar or 62 cents per micromole per second of light. With a high efficacy, superb light output, and fair price point, we award this light best all-around fixture for 2020. Honorable mentions. While these lights or brands didn't make the list of the top seven lights, we still want to recognize them since they are excellent US companies and make high quality lights. One, next light for their next light mega. This light has made our top LED grow light list in the past, but the fixture is slipping behind since it has not been updated in a few years. In addition to being a great fixture, we want to recognize next light for the best warranty support and customer service. Two, the Green Sunshine Company for their Electric Sky 300. This light has also made our top LED grow light list in the past, but it's not as efficient or has as high of light output as other lights on the list, nor does it cover a 4x4 area. Two of these lights in a 4x4 will give you great uniformity, high par due to its unique lenses, and an excellent flowering spectrum. We would like to recognize this fixture and brand for its performance, very happy Electric Sky customers, and the Green Sunshine Company's customer service. We hope that these companies will release new lights soon since we are anxious to see what they'll come up with next. Other companies that make good LED grow lights include Timber Grow Lights, Rabbit LED, and California Lightworks. Check them out. Lastly, if you're looking to save some money while still wanting to cover a 4x4 area and don't mind a small DIY project, we recommend the Chilled Tech Growcraft X6 600 watt DIY kit. At $999, this is $260 less than the non-DIY version of this light. The X6 600W DIY kit has an excellent flowering spectrum, heavy and deep red, a remote dimmable driver, and exhibits high uniformity in a 4x4 area. Summary of lights. Here's a summary of the top 7 lights mentioned. Feel free to pause the video to review or compare these fixtures. The lights are listed in order by amount of light per dollar, highest to lowest. Alright, and that's about it. You can find links to the lights mentioned in this video in the description below if you want to learn more about them, read reviews, or make a purchase. Destroy the like button and subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing the most popular LED grow lights on the market. Check out our other LED grow light reviews on YouTube as well. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot for giveaways and other great content. Link below. Have a good one.